Hi guys, Dr. Wade here, my carnivore experience. You're wondering, what the heck, I thought you were a keto doctor. <laughs> well, I do use ketogenic dieting to help people get over a lot of problems, right? Not just weight loss. Um, we've had so many people get out of type two diabetes, get rid of their Crohn's, get their gout under control. I'm not gonna say we're curing things, but they're no longer taking medications for this. They're no longer diagnosed with these problems. Um, they're not having to get medical attention for these problems. I'm also talking about certain types of arthritis, uh, several autoimmune disorders, which arthritis is kind of in that category. Um, so, but I'm not here to promote ketogenic dieting. I, I don't promote, I, what I promote is human health, okay? And we find ways to do that. Everybody's different. Some people, I've treated vegans, vegetarians. I've treated uh, carnivores, not for an inflammatory disorder, but for an injury, okay? I've treated um, people that do, you know, Weight Watchers and the Jenny Craig diet. I've seen people do the, and they all have, you know, muscle loss and all kinds of problems that, and inflammatory because they're still eating grains and carbs. They're always trying to find ways to use carbs, carb cycling, low carb, but they're still eating carbs, right? What do, this, the premise based, uh, what I'm basing my experiment on, this carnivore experiment is this. What are the two foods you need, the two food groups, the two macros that you need to survive as a human? and be healthy. Protein and fat. That's it. You do not need carbohydrate. There's not a carbohydrate uh, requirement. There used to be the USDA in 1977 and all their wonderful wisdom and glory. Our government uh, said, yeah, you need six to 11 servings of grain a day. <laughs> what happened in the 80s? Obesity rates doubled. Autoimmune disorders went through the roof. You know, all these inflammatory conditions, heart disease, cancer, yeah, just poof, exploded. What's the common denominator? Let's talk about that. Real quick, carbohydrates, conversation over. Why not eliminate what you don't even need? Think about that. Eliminate what you don't need. Now that talk, we're talking about some vegetables too and fruits and you're thinking, wow, we need vegetables, we need fruits, we need fiber. Do you really? I question everything. And that's where this comes from. I'm not promoting this. I'm not saying everybody quit eating their fruits, nuts and vegetables and go to town on just being a carnivore. I'm not saying that because number one, over the last hundred some odd years, we've never done that. You know, now some people have, yes, and there's this subculture of people that are incredibly healthy, hitting personal bests in their fitness regimens. They don't have, they've gotten rid of their chronic disorders. Okay, they were ketogenic dieters. A lot of, we've even had people, vegans, can you believe it? These guys are ideologues and they convert to carnivore. That's a whole 180. You know, the people that have the most health problems, you know, 80% of vegans will have a vitamin B12 deficiency. We know that. They're always having to struggle to get the nutrition they need because they don't eat animal-based proteins and fats. They don't. Any kind of animal product, not at all. Vegetarians, not as much, but still they have some problems. They're always having to struggle to be a vegetarian. Some do better than others. I'm not saying don't be a vegan or vegetarian. Uh, and in fact, you know, again, the only people I've treated that don't have any autoimmune disorders or uh, inflammatory conditions or dietary problems or weight problems or anything, and they're the carnivores. Hmm, makes you, you, you gotta wonder. They don't have cancer. In fact, we have, if you go look, you will see how people have treated, uh, even uh, we have in my, one of my groups, a stage four prostate cancer guy who no longer has prostate cancer. What did he do? Went carnivore. Okay, now what is carnivore? Let's talk about that for just a moment. And again, this is my experiment. I don't recommend you all of a sudden just go carnivore. I've been eating low carb, high fat for you know a little more than a year now. And yes, your macros can get out of whack and mine do frequently. You know, when you're eating ketogen, when you're doing a ketogenic diet, I mean, there's tons of foods out there. You can go, they're keto approved, but your macros can get all out of whack. And next thing you know, you're gaining weight because your energy equation is a little out of whack. Oh yeah. And that happens. Or when you go on a trip, you know, or when something happens where you, you're under stress or something and your cortisol level goes up and yeah, you pack on a few extra pounds. So but keto gives you a keto and fasting gives you a great way to control that. However, if you look at the research on fasting, you'll find that women actually in some cases do really bad with fasting processes um, or fasting strategies there. There's some research that shows it actually does not improve their glucose and insulin um, responses there. You know, you with men, it works better. Okay, so I, you know, and that's the most problem that I have using ketogenic approaches helping women achieve their health goals. Yeah, you lose weight, but they'll plateau a lot quicker than a man will, okay? But not on carnivore, not on carnivore. I don't see that. So 
Uh, why am I experimenting, experimenting with carnivore? Based on this. What do you need to survive as a human, a healthy human? Protein and fat. You don't need carbohydrate. So I'm pretty much going zero carb. That that eliminates most vegetables, definitely all the fruits. And um, so I am, but I'm still not going hardcore. I'm not because I just choose not to. And that's the wonderful thing about this. Um, so follow me if you will, and we'll see what happens. Here are my results so far. Uh, I've got, let's see, when I started, I was kind of on a whim. I said, um, you know, I've, I've got some great carnivore friends, and I just decided after watching uh, the interview with Jordan Peterson and Joe Rogan uh, about his about Jordan's daughter and the results she got there, uh, it's just so powerful. Uh, I'm not going to wait for science to catch up with this because trying to do correlational studies is ridiculous. There's too many variables that move around. You can't do a good study that shows, you know, carnivores are healthier than vegetarians and vegans and ketogenic diet. You just can't. You kind of use your common sense here. And I like anthropology. Um, that's a hobby area. I'm not an anthropologist, but if you look back in history and you see how we used to operate and our genetics are the same uh, when we are at our healthiest, look at what we're eating. The majority of what we're eating is more of a, a more of a uh, an animal-based fat and protein diet, right? So try to deviate from that. Yeah, we always run into problems. Well, let's move toward it. Well, let's go extremely toward it. Let's see what happens there. And I'm not talking about doing just store-bought crappy meat. I'm not talking. I'm talking about using good, happy, healthy, humanely treated animal meat. Okay, game meat, things like that. I'm talking chicken, beef, uh, and free range, of course, pastured meats, pork, absolutely. Now on this process, I'm going to do this over the next 90 days. Uh, that's my plan. First 30 days, I'm weaning into it, so I'm still drinking coffee. Sure, that's plant-based. Um, I'll have carbonated water, uh, period. Pellegrino kind of stuff. I like that, and I'll probably keep that in uh, definitely. But a pure carnivore diet is really just meat and water. I'm not doing that starting off. I've been having such variety in my life to try to go extreme like that. I don't know if I could, and understandably so, right? So why am I doing this? Because I do have some things left over in my health profile that I want to see if this helps me with. All right. Um, more on the uh, seborrheic dermatitis end. I don't, I don't have any of this anymore that's gone, but I have little tiny amounts kind of right back in here, my scalp, and I, you know, my ears still kind of itch, little things like that. And granted, I did not go into ketosis and stay at three point mil, uh, millimolar uh, ketone levels or, and above, you know, in the therapeutic range for three months. I really feel that you need to do that if you're using the ketogenic approach to fix things. That high fat is what you really want to fix things. What about just going carnivore? Well, that do it because now that's going to really promote a great genetic expression of health. I'm not going to be eating anything that can possibly be causing harm, such as in certain vegetables and, um, and a minimal amount of fruit, some of the nuts and things like that. I wonder if there's something there that could be precipitating my genetic expression of those things. Hmm. So let's find out. Let's go carnivore and enjoy. So I know there's you know there's nothing more provocative than discussions in politics, religion, and nutrition. So let's get the discussion going. Let's see what my results are so far in one week in just a few days. I started at 165.2 pounds. I'm now at 162.5, and I've not done any fasting. I've only I've been eating to tolerance. I shouldn't say it like that. Eating to satiation. I eat. Sometimes I'm even overeating because I just like the taste of what I'm eating, but I've actually lost weight. I'm not tracking macros. I'm not doing any kind of fasting strategy. I'm eating two to three meals in a day, uh, combinations of hamburger, beef uh, burger with beef heart. I get it from, um, I've got a link down here below, I'm sure, where I get my meats. Uh, and I've been getting it there for over three years. And these are the, the happiest, healthiest, humanely treated animals ever, cleanest meat you can get. So really enjoying using them. I've got... Um, Let's see what else I'm gonna say. Well, that's really it. Um, so let's you know grab some meat, man. Even if you're on a ketogenic diet, use that kind of meat right there. That's gonna help you. That's my secret in getting rid of belly fat too. Is grass-fed beef, but I'm also eating any kind of meat, any meat that's wild caught, uh, pastured, uh, free range. Uh, right now, I am sticking, staying with eggs for the first 30 days. I'll get rid of that in the second. Um, 30 days. I'm doing it just for 90 days and we'll see what happens here. Okay, so that's my quick discussion on it. Uh, decide to follow me here. I'm going to post in my blog on my YouTube channel and we'll see what, what's up. Okay, so look forward to your comments. Be sure to subscribe. Be sure to follow this and we'll see what happens. Okay, subscribe below. See you soon.